Hello, my name is Margaret, and today I will be giving you a quick tutorial about how to use PhotoPad photo editing software. Um, it is super easy to download, and luckily it is free. Um, but with this tool, you can edit pictures. Um, you could do a lot of different kinds of editing, so I'll give you a quick overview of exactly what you could do. Um, so to download it, you I really just Googled NCH software um, or PhotoPad photo editing software. It's a simple download. Um, I do have a Windows computer, so I downloaded <clears throat> excuse me this one here. So once that's downloaded, you will have the option to open that from your desktop. Um, so I will bring that up here. And it does make you certify that you are using it at home and not for commercial use, so um, which is true. So I will be um, choosing that option. Now, the scenario that I'm going to go through today, um, I have a couple different ones, but they all do um, relate to each other. So before I choose that, um, students can use this tool in the classroom for putting together some kind of presentation if there's a visual aid involved, and usually there is. That is a great way to get the attention of an audience and to get your point across. And for teachers, are also they're also encouraged to use visual aids. It engages students more, and it gives students more ways to learn. Um, and lastly, this software is great for building a portfolio for yourself, especially if you're in graphic design. You need um, you need examples of your abilities. So, with that being said, I'm going to open a picture here. Um, and in this scenario, I'm going to choose a picture here that is actually of uh, Red Rocks in Colorado. Um, so let's say you're putting together some kind of project, um, either advertising for Red Rocks or just telling people why they should be going, um, which there are many reasons, but uh, one being, you know, if you just can simply show someone a picture of it. I think that does a lot of justice for that. So you've got a lot of different options up here on the top um, between editing, you can crop the picture, you can rotate it, you can resize it. And if you'd like to make it any bigger, um, you can use these small arrows here which make pretty small changes or you can just type in a number. Um, that really helps magnify it more. Um, also, you have options up here to change the color manually. So you can change the saturation, um, do a color balance, and you also have filters that you can use, which are really nice, uh, especially if you're not as savvy with editing software. You have filters that are already put together for you that are editing the colors on it. Um, so that's just an example. We can do electric. Um, this one's redwood. You could do aqua. And anything that you change is on the side here. So if I want to look at my original image, I can go back up here and click on original image. That will give me my original image. If I want my resized image, I can click on that and I'll get the resized image. If I don't like any of the changes that I made, I can simply hit the X here and get rid of those. So again, this tool is great for editing software, uh, or edit, excuse me, editing pictures to show as a visual aid in class. Um, you're just, you're able to do so much with this. You're able to sharpen the picture. You can make it more, um, you can make it more clear. But again, if you don't like the editing that you've made, you can simply hit the X on the side. I do feel like this is something that is user friendly because you are given options that they have already created. Um, so a new user can, they don't have to know anything about photo editing. They can just play around, start clicking buttons and see what it does. Um, so this is PhotoPad imaging software, um, and it would be great as a tool to use for teachers, for students, and to build a portfolio. All right, well, I hope I introduced you all to a tool that you can utilize um, in your own life. All right, thank you.